right, after a really nice weekend weather-wise, today looked pretty good, but it definitely felt different. It was hotter and more humid today. The day started with a little bit of cloudiness here on our camera in Boardman. Also some haze in the sky this morning. I mentioned earlier in the newscast that high altitude wildfire smoke. It's thin and it's really high up. It's not a health concern, but it was in the sky early today and it may be noticeable around sunset this evening. That may make for a colorful sunset across the area and that high altitude smoke could be a factor in our sky once again tomorrow. Temperature wise today, we made a run at 90. Didn't quite get there. 89 this afternoon, not uh, anywhere close to the record. That's an old record, 97 degrees way back in 1897. So today was 89 and it just wants to be around 90. It seems like at this time of the year, 89 today, last year and in 2019 on today's date, we had a high temperature of 91 degrees. So we'll be in that neighborhood once again tomorrow and overall tomorrow should be another fairly quiet day. Most of the activity uh, this evening is down towards the Gulf Coast and out into the Rocky Mountain states and we do have a tropical storm to uh, keep tabs on down in the Caribbean. It doesn't look like it's a, a real healthy storm. This is Elsa, which is interacting with Cuba right now. Elsa is going to make the turn north and impact the Florida Keys tonight into tomorrow and probably make landfall across the panhandle of Florida sometime Wednesday morning or midday. This will be a, a rain producer for parts of the south, but not much in the way of wind. Yeah, some gusty winds and a low end tornado threat for maybe Georgia and the Carolinas, but uh, this will not strengthen into a hurricane before it makes landfall. That's the way it looks right now. Anyway, in the meantime, we dropped down to 70 here locally tonight. Clear sky out there for tonight and the sunset is still pretty close to 9 p.m. here in early July. All right, we have a weak front approaching tomorrow. It'll be a bright and sunny and hot start to the day. I do think there could be a stray thunderstorm before the afternoon is through tomorrow. Only a couple of spots will see this. Most of us won't. 91 tomorrow afternoon. The heat index a couple of degrees above the air temperature. Now I'm expecting higher chances for wet weather on Wednesday, especially as we get into the afternoon as a somewhat stronger front tries to make an approach. A few more places will get a, a cooling thunderstorm Wednesday afternoon. And then on Thursday, there's the remnants of the uh, tropical system. That'll be uh, kind of blocking up the pattern for a time on Thursday, keeping this front in the vicinity and therefore the atmosphere pretty unstable. A few rounds of showers and storms pretty likely, I think, Thursday into Thursday night, maybe Friday morning. Then I think we get a break from the wet weather by Friday afternoon into Friday night before the atmosphere tries to reload again for the weekend. We just had a really nice weekend weather wise. The upcoming weekend, maybe not quite as nice. Won't be all that hot with highs around 80, but a chance for a shower and thunderstorm on a few occasions, both Saturday and Sunday. Derek? Yeah, a lot of chances looking at that for.